a like a team competition, have you seen more engagement out of your clients this year or less engagement or no change at all? What has been your favorite moment uh, to date about the open um, at your affiliate? Perfect. Um, all right, so today we're going to kick it off. This is uh, part four of the Unstoppable Business series, and today we're going to talk about the business dashboard. Um, you know, and that that'll fall under the the business pillar of operations. Uh, it's maybe not the most fun topic, but it's one that is essential. Um, as your business grows, it's going to be more and more important that uh, you can understand your business through both. Um, the feel um, and just just seeing people's reaction but also through the numbers and so uh, you know for myself as my gym has grown as Chris's gym has grown um, you know we have to rely a little bit on our numbers because they will start to tell us trends so you know if we see certain things going on in the business it may uh, reflect that something that is going to happen or it's something that is already happening and we just you know it hasn't surfaced yet so uh, numbers are a great tool, um, but they're just that. They're a tool. They're not a, a final decision maker. As owners, as managers, as CEOs, it's our job to have the skills to be able to create the correlations between the numbers and help us make decisions. We never make decisions based off of numbers. And so I want you guys to think about that again. Like your business dashboard, your numbers, they're meant to help you make decisions. They're not how you make decisions, and that's that's very important. Um, if we just run our business based off the numbers, there's so many things that are happening that numbers don't necessarily reflect right away. Um, has anybody ever walked in their business and, and there is just this great positive energy? You could just tell things are about to go in the right uh, right direction, and then all of a sudden, two months later, all your signups start to come in, um, your revenues start to jump up a little bit, or you get a you know an influx of new members. Has anybody ever had that happen where you have great energy and then all of a sudden, maybe 45 days later, 60 days later, um, it kind of uh, it breaks through the surface and then you see it from the business side? Perfect. Just a reminder, these go a lot better if you guys get, uh, if you guys openly start chatting, um, it allows us to kind of know where you're at in your business. And for future webinars, it allows us to create better content, but it also makes these webinars um, more interactive. So feel free, uh, you know, talk freely. And we're going to kick it off with our business dashboard. So um, overview, why operations? Um, today we're going to cover why operations. Identify your key business indicators and then take action with our business progress dashboard. So the tool that we'll give you access to when we are done today will be um, the business dashboard that we created at Factory Forge and, and something that we use in our business. We'll talk about why uh, we've chosen um, that format and then how we use it. So if you guys have questions, feel free to, to let them pop up. Um, why operations? So you guys can see right there, um, day to day when we walk into our business, we are faced with uh, tasks. Um, and then from there, circling all around that is our systems. Um, 
our processes kind of keep everything in line. So you have systems, processes, and then your day-to-day -day operations or your day-to-day -day tasks. Uh, what happens is we get so concerned about just growing the business, um, getting members in the door, getting cash flow to simply pay our rent, uh, that we build this huge monster. And also when we go to bring on our first employee, we just expect them to know what we know. And that's very, very critical is as you guys start to go through your team and develop and hire coaches, hire a manager, systems and your processes are what's going to allow you to grow. Um, have any of you ever been stuck at a certain point? Maybe it's 60 members, 80 members. Um, I know for us, we got stuck at 185 members. We could not break through 185 members. Um, has anybody ever found that sticking point? Stuck at 50, stuck at 115, um, can't get past 185. It's, it's the chance um, or the most common thing that's happening is it goes back to that systems and processes. And if they're not developed, what happens is you think your team or you think you know, your other coach is thinking on the same level as you. The truth is you're an owner and people are never going to think on the same level or care about the business in the same way. Um, all the little steps that you take for granted, they're probably skipping. And, and they're not doing it because they don't want to do a good job. They just don't think like you. And so what we want to do is we want to create a, a systematized business, um, one where we have very easy to follow processes and, and they understand day to day what's expected of them. So yes, I'm going in a little bit into deep, uh, team development, but these really flow together. Having um, strong systems, strong processes, and having you know, easy tasks for them to accomplish allow you to break through those ceilings and take you to the next level. So for those of you that are stuck, go back and, and really analyze, like even when it comes to doing the blog, how many people know how to do the blog the exact right way you want it? Um, I know for us, we actually have a handbook of how to post a blog article. And it's a step-by-step. -step. Step one, create the title. Step two, drop in our SEO. Step three, drop in um, our Facebook pixel code. Like it step-by-step -step takes each one of our employees. So at any one moment, if I'm on vacation, um, we show them they know how to write a blog. They're not calling me. They, they, they go to some manual first, and it's it laid out for them. Um, if you don't blog, I think it's probably one of the biggest mistakes you could ever make in your um, business. It, it's your way to communicate with the, the community um, that you live in. So and we talked a little bit about that on our marketing. Um, I'm going to hop back into operations. Operations is the day-to-day -day functions of your business. Um, simple and clear systems, I touched on this earlier, and processes will create a better communication results and more profit. It's going to allow us to break through that uh, ceiling. Um, it's also creating the standards. So I want you to think about this. If you don't have processes, you don't have systems, it's writing up a workout on the board and saying, I want you to do thrusters and pull-ups. You know, think about it. In the world of CrossFit, you write down the time, you write down the load, um, you write down the reps. Everything's very, very organized. That way the athlete knows exactly what is expected of them in the workout. Okay, imagine going to the whiteboard and writing up, we're going to do thrusters today and pull-ups. The first question you're going to be is, well, how heavy? Is it for time? Is it an AMRAP? Um, what are the reps? So the problem is we don't do that in our business. Um, we just expect our employees to just understand what it is uh, that is needed from them. And it creates a lot of confusion um, because they can't get inside of our head. So processes are going to allow our businesses to grow to the next level. Um, key business indicators. So for all of you guys out there today, do you guys have certain things that you constantly are measuring your business against? Um, maybe net member growth, uh, gross, um, net profit, um, retail sales. What are some of the things that you guys use as your key indicators? And um, throw them up in the chat for them and then post a little bit why. Why are you tracking that specific number?
while you guys post, I'm going to drop in. Here's a blog that we wrote on why you need to blog. Uh, for those that were just asking why it's critical to write. Um, and then here is a blog that we wrote is uh, based on what is the most, uh, most important financial number to track in your business. Um, so two awesome resources. If you guys haven't read both of these, um, some really good content in both of them. So automatic payments. I love that. Accounts, uh, revenue, um, pro shop sales. So if you believe it or not, uh, at the Factory Forge um, business, um, for Factory Forge and for our clients, we try to focus them on just a, a couple key indicators. One of them is our auto pay. Um, and what auto pay is, is our expected revenue for the next month. This doesn't account in for seminars. It doesn't account for uh, retail sales, it is our guaranteed um, revenue for the next month. And it basically says if we don't do anything above and beyond this, this is what we're going to collect. Um, that is a huge number we track because it'll tell us if our business is growing or shrinking. You know, if you're a gym that is constantly has an auto pay of 30,000 and you're doing 50,000, guess what? You're working extremely hard every month to keep hitting 50. The easy way in the long-term investment of that would be is to grow your auto pay. It'll allow you to um, create long-term investment into your gym rather than constantly going for the, the gamble. Um, so auto pay is one of the, the big numbers that we track. Another one that we track is uh, obviously new member signups, uh, but we also track our net membership growth on a month to month. Um, we like when we sign up a lot of new members, but but even more importantly, we want to know how many members we lost. And, and to, you know, to even furthermore, we want to know why they left. Um, and then, so the big ones that we track are, um, and then finally it's you know, gross revenue, auto pay, and then net membership growth are kind of the big numbers that we use. So if, if you guys are tracking more than five, I would say it's too many. Um, you know, some businesses I've seen get up to 10 to 20 and they're tracking all these different numbers. What we know is we can just track a few numbers and they will tell the story for the entire big picture. So uh, if you're not doing so, try to, try to remove some of the stuff so you can just focus on the main things that matter. Um, the key indicators are also going to tell uh, the story. They're going to tell what the future is going to hold. Um, for us, one of the numbers that I constantly ask my general managers is what does the auto pay look like for April? And all they have to say is it's going to be more than March for me to instantly know that our business is going in the right direction. It's, it's really that simple. Is our auto pay is growing uh, for next month. We added $2,000. Okay, perfect. That means that our net membership has grown. Our average client value is growing. Does that make sense to everybody? Chad, I'll let you know, um, or Chad and Kelly, uh, for those guys that are using ZP, they're going through a huge update right now on the back end to improve uh, the lag time. So they're very aware of it, and their, you know, their coders are working at um, improving the, the, the load time from two seconds to, I believe it's like 0.2 seconds. So um, you'll see a big uptick in that. Just hang tight. Uh, so. Any questions on the key business indicators? Once again, we use our gross revenue, we use auto pay, uh, net membership growth, and then we'll look at um, you know, intros. Are they happening, aren't they happening? If I get a bunch of yeses, we'll move forward. If not, I'm gonna stay here and answer any questions that we have. All right, we're going to um, kick forward. So our business, our business progress dashboard, um, we have two forms. Uh, we have the numerical entry, um, think Excel spreadsheet. Um, so we'll go in and we'll log our, our information in there. But then we also have um, a kind of a, a tracking system where we can kind of show um, and we can graph it. So what works really, really well from, from the ownership side is, the owners get really excited about the data entry 
we find that our staff loves the graphs. They don't want to know all the minor details. They just want to see, are we trending in the right direction? Does that, does that make sense why we have uh, both sides? And so you can see on the business progress dashboard right here, our financial progress, um, this is an example, but if the, the January revenues were in 4,000, now in uh, September, we're now hitting um, 30,000. Okay, and, but if we break it down in the numerical side, the, the same things are true for gross revenue, um, or gross revenue and then gross membership revenue, um, but it also breaks down our retail, our supplemental revenue. Um, supplemental revenues would be things like boot camp. Okay, these are non, um, they're not retail, but they're not auto pay. So how many of you guys run like a specialty club, like a barbell um, or even a workshop? Um, Okay, so your gross revenue, once again, is your, your overall combined revenue that you brought in for the month. Um, gross membership revenue or auto pay is going to be your, your contractual uh, money that is kind of guaranteed. So for us, that's our co uh, CrossFit contracts. Um, next, we have our supplemental revenue. These are all things that are not retail related. So boot camp, uh, strength club, Oli club events and private training, et cetera. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Um, and then from there we take and we find out our net profit. So we'll take our total gross revenue um, and we'll less the cost of goods sold. So what that means is we'll take our revenue or our retail, we'll add that in, but we'll subtract what it cost us to sell the product. So if we're selling a bag of protein for 60, but it cost us 40, we're only really making 20. So it's important to us to know what are we making from our um, retail side. Um, a lot of times people get really, really excited. They'll say, well, I did $10,000 in retail this month, but you know, maybe you sold a bunch of items that were really, really high cost of goods sold, and you actually only made $1,000. Your gross revenue is gonna be extremely inflated. You're gonna think you have a ton of extra money coming in the bank to spend, when really it's only $1,000 and it's only 10% of what you thought it was. Does that make sense to everybody? Has anybody ever made that mistake? I know I have. Um, and one of the things that was really shocking to me, for those of you guys that don't pull your cost of goods sold report, when you figure out your taxes, um, your shipping, and then the cost of goods sold, um, it'll be kind of shocking to you what you actually make off your retail. I know for us, uh, you know, we carry around that 40% margin, but it's, uh, when you add everything in there, it's not as much revenue as you think it is. Uh, by the time, you know, our staff gets a uh, free product for inside the, uh, inside the office. So if they want to, you know, take protein, we, we give them a bag. So that all comes out. So our profit line on retail is not crazy huge. But again, we're not in the business to make massive amounts of money off retail. It's there to help our clients um, recover and get the things that they need to stay active um, in our membership base. So our, the reason why we have our retail is not to be a huge uh, profit generator. Yes, Chad. Uh, and it's, uh, it's variable depending on if it's t-shirts um, or protein and so on. So from there, that is our financial side of the dashboard. Um, the next part will be the value. So what we'll do is we'll take gross revenue uh, and we'll divide it by our base. Meaning if we have, um, if we have 30,000 members, or excuse me, $30,000 in revenue, and we have 300 members, we know our average client value or our membership value is $100 a client. Does that make sense to everybody? Is everybody tracking their average client value? Perfect. Um, average client value is a, it's an important number to track, um, but it's not one as important as you would think it is. 
Um, things like your auto pay number is, is what I would find to be more important. Um, the, the number that I also track is, uh, and if I want to dig down kind of the rabbit holes, I'll take my auto pay or my, my CrossFit membership, contractual membership, divide it by my members, and I'll figure out what my average membership revenue is per client. So say that's 120 and say my overall average client value is 130, I can now assume that each one of my clients averaged $10 spent on top of what they already paid that month. Does that make sense to everybody? Why would it be important to know how much they're spending on top of their membership? There's uh, one word that we've been using this word a lot the last three weeks. Anybody want to take a, a stab at it? Value, yep, but something, something much more important than just simply value. Yes, measures the level of investment. On top of that, the word I'm looking for is engagement, okay? We know that if they're constantly buying, and it doesn't need to be big things. Um, I'm not looking for them to buy shoes every week, but if they're constantly buying things, that tells me they're engaged. But if somebody goes four months without buying any protein, any fish oil, no wrist wraps, not spending anything above and beyond, do you think they're probably on their way out? I would say without, I would say there's a good shot that they're slightly disengaged if, if not really unengaged. Um, to me, if they're not, if they're just doing their membership, uh, I have a hard time believing that they're, they're not fully living the brand if they're not, um, you know, fully into it. Uh, Jeff, attendance numbers is something that's tracked too. Um, but for us, we want to see, the, Jeff, to answer your question, and I want to make sure that this is clear, when they're buying stuff from the retail store, there's a higher chance that they're kind of walking and talking the brand. They're proud of the brand. So it goes a little bit above and beyond. It's that engagement piece um, that kind of takes it to the next level. Does that, uh, that make sense? So we'll track attendance. Um, and if somebody isn't showing up, that's another red flag. But so is kind of, are they buying or spending any um, extra disposable income? And we're not, again, this is not in the, the art to make a ton of money off retail. But if they're never going to workshops, they're, uh, they're never doing any supplemental programs, they're never doing any retail purchases, to me it seems like they're probably not fully invested. And they're definitely not a A-type client. Okay? Um, so we're going to move forward. And, and you guys, at the end of this uh, webinar today, you guys will get full access to our financial um, or business progress dashboard, which features both financial value. And then let's move into the next piece. Um, is membership. So things that we'll look forward on the membership side will be total intros um, done in a month. How many of you are doing intros right now? Intro being at least a, you know, a 30 minute session where you take time to educate the prospect on why your, your service is of value and it can help them reach their goals. This is one of the most critical pieces of your business because it allows them to understand what they get in your membership and how you're different, um, how you're different from your competitors and how to honestly use your company to reach their goals. Uh, from there, we'll track new signups. So we'll look at and say, uh, all right, we did you know, three intros last month, but we only signed up one. And you know, Coach, Coach Joe did all three of the intros. That's a red flag because if we've done our phone script, we've done our, our screening process, when somebody comes in for an intro, they're almost ready to sign the paperwork and we're just basically doing an assessment on them. So if they're averaging 33%, that's a huge red flag that we need to work with our coach on their intro. So whether it's how they present the program, how they showcase what it is we do, that allows us to understand what part of the business we need to go address. Um, 
from here we have a document that we use at Factory Forge that will break down um, all the coaches will track their personal intro. So this is kind of the, the macro or the zoomed out version, but we have a zoomed in version that will allow us to understand um, per coach. Um, and then net member growth. You know, so you could sign up 10, you could do 100 intros, you could sign up 10, but if you lose 20, it's not a good month. And if your net membership growth is, is negative, but yet you've got a ton of signups, what does that tell us about our business? Where do we need to look? Yep, we need to look at things like engagement. We need to look at, honestly, our member service. You know, we go back to that 180-day proven process from the time they become a client, you know, the goals meetings, uh, the tracking, the attaboys, all these different things, these uh, engagement tools, are they being engaged properly? And it might mean that either they're not the right fit for the gym or our engagement process isn't working or it's not being implemented. It's not being implemented. Uh, and then the last one we'll look at is uh, um, total members. So this kind of just tells us are we heading in the right direction and that's what we'll track um, up along with our gross revenue. So that is kind of our business progress dashboard. Um, I know there's a, you know, a million different ways to do that. What we did when we created this was we wanted something extremely simple for affiliate uh, owners. Uh, we have systems that are crazy complex compared to this, but what we find is um, if it's not simple and if, if it's not clear cut, when people get busy or overwhelmed, they just kind of neglect it. But this is pretty simple. You're adding, you know, you're putting in roughly 10 pieces of data per month in there. It takes you, you know, probably an hour tops, but it's honestly a great snapshot for the month. Um, so I hope that you guys use this, and it does help you um, get a better handle on your business. Um, here's a zoomed-in uh, version, and the business dashboard. Let's kind of uh, let's circle back around and just kind of review. It's going to help us identify problems. Um, it's going to let us know where we need to look in the business. Is it uh, the training piece for our coaches? Um, is it get them? Um, is it our marketing side? Is it our sales side? Or is it the service side? Um, you know, it could be any of those three pieces. Um, and then from there, we also set objectives. We set goals. So, you know, if my team's got a goal to do 12 intros each month and they're only hitting, uh, say, nine, I have to look at our marketing activities. What are we doing that's not getting us intros? Or maybe it's our client service. Why aren't we getting referrals? So what it does is it points us in the direction and gets the needle moved pointing that way so now we can start to make change. Otherwise, we're just trying to, uh, turn a bunch of buttons and hope that we get the result that we want. Any questions there on what we've picked? Um, and do you guys feel that we're missing anything that's uh, critically important? Perfect. Thanks, Stephanie. Um, all right, let's move on. Uh, gathering data the fast and easy way. So here are some, uh, like we said, this is the, the macro view or the zoomed out view. Um, things that we'll use is we have an in, uh, intro prospect tracking. Um, we have a master budget. Um, we have membership upgrades, renewals, and completions. That is a tool that we gave you guys last, um, last call. Um, we have a monthly revenue goal estimator. Um, so this would be our projections for the year. Um, we use our Zen Planner revenue categories to make it very, very simple to pull our numbers. And then we have our payroll tracking. Um, so we can gather roughly all our data for the end of the month in you know, only a, you know, one to two hours. And um, from there, we can you know, make decisions, change things, and adapt our business so we can um, respond quickly before anything happens either on a negative side um, and hopefully always on a positive side. Uh, Chad, everything that we do on these webinars is stored in our vault. So if you guys visit our website, and I'll show you guys how to do that um, in a moment. But uh, workshop event. So lastly, um, I want to talk to you guys about our upcoming event. 
Um, we went over the business dashboard. Um, I'm going to do a quick uh, screen share, and then I'll show you guys where you guys can find everything um, for what we've gone over today, where the tools are for download. So, and for those of you guys that have called in on your phones, uh, go to factoryforge.com, and then when you click workshop on there, it'll It'll take you to where everything's being stored. Um, bookmark that page. So, um, so if you guys go to our Factory Forge website, um, right, you click workshop and you enter a valid email address in. It is going to send you an email from us that gives you access to a private page that we've created for you to download the tools. Um, the link is right there. Um, the other side that I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, our Guts and Glory photo contest. So we've partnered with Reebok and Killcliff, And throughout the open, you guys can submit photos of your members going through and doing Friday Night Lights or just simply doing the um, competition. At the end of this, we're going to pick the top five photos. We'll allow you guys to vote on them. And this is pretty awesome. Anybody that signed up for the CrossFit Open at your gym, um, if your photo is chosen, they're going to get a pair of Reebok Nanos. On top of it, the affiliate owner is going to get a case of uh, um, Killcliff for the year. So that's uh, a fun little contest that we partnered with them on. We wanted to um, kind of end uh, Friday Night Lights with a, a little bang and, and make it fun for you guys to take photos. So I'll post that link up. All right, and then the last thing, uh, and I said we'd have a, a fun little announcement. Um, April 18th and 19th um, in St. Cloud, Minnesota, we are going to be launching our first um, Factory Forge workshop. So last year we launched with the summit. Uh, this year we're doing a two-day workshop. You can have the option to choose to attend just Saturday um, or just Sunday. Now what's going to make this different than the summit is we are going to spend um, the entire day not only teaching you, but creating and then implementing. And what that means is um, we're going to show you uh, the, the Factory Forge proven processes for marketing. So I'm going to teach you like our secret hacks that we use um, for CrossFit Fast Factory for Gainesville of how to use uh, Facebook pixels. From there, I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to open up your computer. I'm going to help you guys do it for your business. And then we're going to show you the plan um, to keep it moving forward. So the entire Two days is going to be everything, and it's, it's, the whole premise is you're going to learn, we're going to create it for you, and then we're going to implement it. Um, rather than just you know, talking about um, a plan or helping you create a plan, you are going to walk away with a brand new business at the end of Sunday. Um, and I, it's something that I'm very, very excited about is uh, I want you guys to walk away with not, feeling, not having you know, 20 pages of notes, but like a brand new business plan that is already implemented and it's ready to roll. On Saturday, we are going to talk boot camp. Um, we are actually launching our boot camp that Saturday, so you guys are going to watch our enrollment day happen live. You're going to be able to take notes, um, and then you guys will be able to, um, we're going to teach you our boot camp. So we'll talk about our marketing plan for it, um, how we get people to go from boot camp to CrossFit, um, and we're going to show you our 18 um, lesson plan that we use um, that averages a 85 to 90% conversion rate. So we're going to show you exactly what we're doing. We're not going to hold it back from you. Um, and you're going to get to see it for your own eyes. So one of the things that we're excited about is you guys are actually going to get to watch the two-hour um, enrollment day. On top of that, for those of you that are doing um, an intro into your um, CrossFit program, we're going to set up an, a live intro, and it's going to be 100% not staged, and you're going to watch one of our coaches do an intro. So you're going to get to go through, you're going to watch how we do a tour of the gym, how we have them fill the paperwork out, the questions that we ask, you're going to get to watch everything completely live. Um, so those uh, two things will be happening um, um, on both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Sunday we will focus on marketing, um, sales, and then client service. So we're going to walk you through our whole entire process of, of how we market our business, um, how we close, and then 
how we service our clients, how we create that 180 180 day proven process. Um, I'm going to post a link up for those that are on the call today. Um, when the call is over, um, or when the day is over today, um, we have a discount that's on there that'll get pulled down. So right now, that page will go public on Friday. Um, for anybody that signs up for the, the two-day spot, um, you're going to save an extra $100 today um, and today only. So uh, we have very limited spots. Um, our summit last year sold out right away, um, and people loved it. So do you guys have any questions on the workshop? Uh, Brandy, the link is live right now, yes. It is for, um, so each, each seat is for anybody that would like to attend. So um, our VIP clients um, are already registered for it, um, but it's live to everybody else. So if you click the link, um, and Ron, I will double check, but the link is working on our side. Um, let me double check it. And for anybody on the call, I will email you guys out the, the workshop link today as well. So when we end the call today, um, you guys will get an email of the recording. Um, you're going to get the business progress dashboard. Um, and then I'll email you the link to the workshop. Like I said, I, uh, I think we have 35 spots available um, with our VIP clients. I think there's close to half of them are already taken. So um, once today ends, uh, we'll pull the page down on Thursday and then we're going to go live on Friday to the, the general public um, and like I said if you sign up today you'll save an extra hundred dollars on top of it so it's uh, I think about a three hundred dollar savings and to attend the entire course is I believe four ninety nine for the two days um, again it's the 18th and 19th um, focus being on hundred percent implementation you guys will get to watch a live uh, boot camp happen in front of how we do our enrollment you guys will get to watch an intro and then we are going to spend the rest of the weekend um, literally building things out in your business. So we're going to build a marketing plan for Facebook. Um, we're going to show you how to um, grow your um, audience, how to grow your pixels, how to buy your uh, town. And what that means is we want everybody in the town to know about your business, your CrossFit gym, and how to make you stand out from the rest. Um, are there any other questions? Uh, Chad and Kelly, yes, you do, and um, all I can tell you is it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm really excited. We'll be announcing um, our full team this Monday uh, when we get them all on site. So our whole entire Factory Forge team is going to be coming out uh, to work on some projects, and then you guys will get to see who will be back out for uh, the workshop as well.
for those of you guys looking to uh, for those of you guys looking to um, if you guys want to go right to the registration page, here it is. Um, this should work, and then uh, we should have everything fixed from the forwarding side. All right, that will do it for our call today. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Just a reminder, um, if you haven't done so, join the vault uh, for Factory Forge. Um, all the recordings are stored there. All the uh, tools are stored there. So if you missed any of the webinars, um, you can find everything there. Um, we have a private Facebook page. Right now it's titled Friday Night Lights. Um, but if you have any questions regarding um, your business, we'll be happy to answer it. Um, we look forward to seeing you guys next Wednesday with our next topic. Um, best of luck with 15.3. And we will talk soon.